Scott and Mary Ellis, when we started looking into Littlefoot Spa behind me here in Cheektowaga, it was a booming business with dozens of men coming and going at all hours of the day and night. Cheektowaga police and New York State Police made an aggressive push to shut this spa down, but we found this is one of many illicit spas operating in western New York. On April 23rd, the FBI and Niagara County sheriffs raided the new elegant Shiatsu Spa in Lockport, accusing it of operating as a, quote, illicit massage business. The government filed interstate prostitution charges against Linian Song, a Chinese citizen who they say employed multiple women to provide commercial sex acts. After the Lockport case, we began investigating unlicensed massage businesses. We found multiple spas in Erie County operating without a state license for massage therapy. Many of them also advertised on escort websites selling sex. We started investigating these spas at the dark corners of the internet, where we accessed the same massage rating websites used by federal agents in their case against Song. The websites are like Yelp, but for illicit massage parlors. There are photos of scantily clad women who are mostly young and Asian, Experts say it's meant to play into false cultural stereotypes of Asian women as hypersexualized. Actually, our society as a whole, uh, which has a long history of uh, stereotyping these women, creating the demand. The phone numbers on those ads correspond to massage parlors, like this one for Health 888 Spa in Amherst, located in a medical suite near UB's North Campus. The ads say the women are, quote, full service and do more than you think. Via text message, someone at the spa confirmed that they offer what's referred to as a happy ending, which is industry slang for a sexual act. When we tried to speak to a manager at Health 888 Spa, we didn't get far. Hi, just wonder if, if I could speak with the owner or the manager. Oh. We're doing a story and we just want to get your side of the story. We just... After we asked Amherst police about this spa, they shut it down on May 17th arresting two women from New York City on felony charges of practicing massage therapy without a license. The two other spas we investigated were Littlefoot Spa in Chictawaga and Four Seasons Spa in Depew. At all three spas, we found explicit and sexually suggestive online ads, along with a steady stream of men coming and going each afternoon. According to research on human trafficking, an all-male customer base, as well as locked doors requiring patrons to be buzzed in, are common signs that sex may be for sale. Police who raided this spot in Chictawaga say what's going on here isn't simple prostitution. Instead, it's human trafficking, where vulnerable women are forced into sex work without the option to leave. People who go there and engage in their services think that it's, it's victimless, that they're giving someone money in exchange for a sexual service. But what they're really doing is they're participating in a rape. These young women have no choice. They're being forced, they're being compelled in order to engage in sexual acts against their will. On May 28th, Cheektowaga police got a special search warrant that allowed them into the attached living quarters of Littlefoot Spa. And Depew police said Four Seasons Spa had illegal makeshift living quarters for the employees. Most of the uh, women uh, end up in doing this kind of work uh, they didn't come to the country uh, wanting to do this. They came to the country in hope of um, having a better job, a better you know, living condition, but only getting trapped into this. Police also seized $81,000 in cash at two of the spas, which we are told has piqued the interest of federal investigators. They are now trying to identify the handlers of the women and the overseers of what police believe is a much larger scheme. In this case, we're extraordinarily grateful to Channel 2, who got wind of this story and brought it to our attention. That allowed us the opportunity to get in, to investigate, and to try and help these victims. Now, we should note that the state and federal investigations into these spas remain very much ongoing. Keep in mind, this is an industry that brings in $2.5 billion in revenue a year with an estimated 9,000 illicit spas across the U.S. On your side, live in Chictawaga, Charlie Speck, Channel 2 News. All right, Charlie, thank you. And you can read more on the series of events that has led up to this investigation by heading to our website, WGRZ.com.